Tefri Hayamim Aleph, 1 Chronicles, chapter 26. The divisions of the gatekeepers, of the Korhim, Meshalem Yahu, the son of Kor, of the descendants of Asaph, Meshalem Yahu had sons, Sekar Yahu, the firstborn, Yedael, the second, Zavad Yahu, the third, Yetanyel, the fourth, Milan, the fifth, Yochanan, the sixth, and Eliahoini, the seventh. Elvad Adam had sons, Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehoshaphat the second son, Joach the third, Sakar the fourth, Nathanael the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Yisakar the seventh, and Pelitai the eighth, for God blessed him. To his son Shemaiah were born sons who ruled over the father's clan, because they were strong, brave men. The sons of Shemaiah, Otni, Raphael, and his brothers Ovid and El Savad. Valiant men, also Eliyahu, Elihu, and Samar Yahu. These were all from the sons of Obed Adam. They and their sons and brothers, men of ability and strength for service. 62 from Obed Adam. Meshalem Yahu had sons and brothers, valiant men, 18. Hosa from the sons of Mari had sons, Shimri the chief, for although he was not the firstborn, nevertheless his father made him the chief. Eli Yahu the second, Tevel Yahu the third, and Zechar Yahu the fourth. All the sons and brothers of Hoash were thirteen. These divisions of the gatekeepers under their chief men had duties, just as their kinsmen did, serving in the house of Adonai. Great or small, they cast lots according to their clans for every gate. The lot for the east gate fell to Shalom Yahu. Then they cast lots for his son Zechar Yahu, a sensible advisor, and he was allotted the north gate. Ovid Adam was allotted his sons the storehouse. Shupim and Hosa were allotted the west gate, and the Shalaket were <coughs> the Shalaket gate at the highway that goes up with corresponding guards. For the east there were six Levaim, for the north four a day, for the south four a day, for the storehouse two and two, while for the courtyard to the west there were four at the highway and two at the courtyard itself. These were the divisions of the gatekeepers, consisting of descendants of the Korkim and descendants of Marai. Of the Levaim, Akiah was responsible for the stores in the house of God and the stores of holy articles. The sons of Ladan, the descendants of Gershuni, belonging to Ladan, the heads of clans belonging to Ladan, the Gershuni, Yekiali, and the sons of Yekiali, Satam, and Yoel, his brother, over the stores in the house of Adonai. Of the Amrami, of the Yitzhari, of the Hebroni, and of the Zeali, Shebael, the descendants of Gershom, the son of Moshe, was in charge of the stores. His kinsmen, from Eliezer, Rechaviyahu, his son, Yeshiyahu, his son, Ram, his son, Sikri, his son, and Shlomo, his son. This Shlomi and his kinsmen were in charge of all the stores of the dedicated things that David, the king, the clan heads, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and the commanders of the army had dedicated. From the spoil won in wars, they had dedicated these things to repair the house of Adonai. Also included was all that Shemuel the seer, Shaul the son of Kish, Amner the son of Ner, and Yoab the son of Zeruiah had dedicated. In short, if anyone had dedicated anything, Shalmi and his brothers were in charge of it. Of the Yitzhari, Kenanyahu and his sons were assigned to be over Israel in regard to outside business as officers and judges of the Hebroni, Hashabiah, and his kinsmen. Seventeen hundred valiant men had the oversight of Israel west of the Yarden in regard to all the business of Adonai in the service of the king. Uriah was chief of the Hebroni, according to their generations by clans. In the fortieth year of David's reign, the Hebroni were sought out, and they were found among them strong, brave men at Yasser and Gilad. King David appointed 2,700 of his kinsmen, valiant men and clan leaders, as overseers over the Riveni, the Gadi, and the half-tribe of the Manashi, for every matter pertaining to God and for the affairs of the king.